Hello there, I'm Jimmy of Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a cool on-screen CCTV style image just like the thumbnail of this video. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming and creativity, John Channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content, loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload on video game development on this channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the idea of what we're going to do here is kind of cool. So obviously in the thumbnail we have those four segments that we can see on the screen. And we're going to replicate that in a couple of different ways. So we're going to use this initial camera as the first way of creating the first image. And then we're going to multiply that camera a couple of times to create the other imagery. So basically what's happening is we're going to have four cameras rendering and displaying four different images, which is effectively how you would see a CCTV image anyway. So let's bring this camera down first of all and just rotate it into uh, one of the positions. I wanna try and get four different positions. So there's position number one. Let's duplicate that, bring it over here and let's just rotate something like that. There's camera number two. Uh, hold control, press D, duplicate. There's camera number four. Let's bring it this way and maybe up a little, maybe down. In fact, I guess it doesn't matter too much. And hold control, press D, duplicate once again. There's our next camera. And somewhere like there, maybe. And we will go a little bit further as well, maybe with a quick little animation, but you'll see how all of this works. So what we need to do is basically attach a black component to the screen. So let's go game object, UI, raw image. Let's set that as completely black to there. And let's anchor, stretch all the way down there and zero out all the numbers. So it basically covers our entire screen. Now, one extra cool little way of dealing with this to increase and scale the size of all of these images. If we click on the canvas and go to canvas scaler, we need to select scale with screen size and then set the match to exactly halfway and then set a default screen size. So it'd be basically 1920 by 1080. And all that does is ensure that everything on the canvas itself is seen correctly. So next, let's create the imagery for our cameras. So I'm gonna call this uh, cam one and then we'll have cam two, then cam three and finally, cam 4. So what we need to do now is create four special textures which allows us to render what these cameras are seeing. So let's right click create and down here you'll see render texture. So I'm going to keep this as rend 1 and it doesn't matter too much about the size it's up to you how uh, intense you want it to be. Um, I'm going to have it as in fact I will have 1920 by 1080 uh, but you don't need to worry too much about playing around with the settings this will do just fine so next let's duplicate that three more times so we have the four render textures and on cam one let's drag render one over here to target texture and what that will do is it will render whatever this camera sees onto this texture and obviously that becomes very useful so if we put rend number two there and on the third one, number three. And finally, on the fourth one, right there. So now those four cameras are projecting whatever they see onto these textures. So we can use that to our advantage now and apply those textures to game objects on the canvas. So game object, UI, and let's go image. And we can then, uh, not image, sorry. I actually meant raw image. Let's get rid of that because there is a difference between image and raw image. Image is used for mainly sprites. Raw image is used for textures in this case. So my apologies on that one. So let's have this as 
screen one and let's attach rend one onto there. And I'm going to double click on that now and we are going to put that into um, its actual place. So let's anchor it at the top left and I need to switch around my screen. And size, let's have this as uh, something sensible. So let's say 900 by, um, let's say 500. I mean, you can obviously take much uh, more time with this to make it more accurate, but there is our first image. So we can duplicate that and let's bring it over here and then change that to screen two. And then let's put rend two as the texture. And once again, let's duplicate, bring that down. I think obviously we might need to change this a little bit. Let's have that as 950 by 450 and 950 by 450 and this one 950 by 450. But again, obviously it's all down to you how you want yours to look. So this one is number three. So let's add rend three onto there. And finally, that's going to be, in fact, I'm going to use the rec tool just to make sure it is accurate. There we go. And this is screen four and rend four. Now, if we press play, in fact, let me shift these together a little more so they don't quite look so untidy. And there, and now let's press play. Now it does indeed say no cameras rendering, but there are cameras rendering as we can see. To get around that, all you need to do is game object and add an extra camera, but that camera will never be seen anyway. So you don't need to worry about that too much. But there we are. There is our CCTV style security footage on the screen. Now I did say we could go one step further. So I am going to apply a quick animation to the camera just to show you that it is actually live camera. So let's go to animation and let's create and we'll say this as rotate and let's quickly set this. So the rotation is going to be done on the Y. So we want to set the first keyframe. So we'll paste that value in there. So it starts there. And then after let's say 300 seconds, it has rotated that way a little. After another 300 seconds, it's rotate. Ooh, I should put 600 there. Sorry, I say seconds, I meant frames, my apologies. So because we're in 60 frames a second, 300 would be um, five seconds. And then rotate it that way. And then after another 300 seconds, frames I mean, and we can go back to its original point. So I do have tutorials on animations uh, if you want to go a little bit further into that. Uh, but let's press play and we should be able to see. There we go. And that is how we get CCTV style with animations and live footage. So if you were to see a, a guy walk past there in the actual game, he would be here on the CCTV as well. So guys, I hope that's helped. Uh, it's a cool little unique effect that you can use in a couple of different ways. And yeah, I'll see you around in another tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.